What is going on guys and girls? Now have you ever been to a supermarket before to get one thing and come out with fucking shitloads? Well, that's what I've just done so I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone, I'm gonna show you guys what I bought and I'm gonna have a little chat to you about food and the diet in general and how expensive it is and what it costs and my opinion on, on that as it as they can expense. So, we want that of rice. As you know, I eat a lot of rice if you watch my Instagram stories. Basmati white rice. I buy that by the kilo because it's a bit more cost effective. And, it, and I eat a lot of it, so that'll last, that'll last me a while to be fair. Um, bananas. Um, I went to, basically I went in just to get some protein, just to get some meat or some fish because I've run out and my order from Muscle Food comes tomorrow. So I've got some reduced stuff. So, mini turkey breast fillets, and some basil fillets, or baza, and some sea bass. So that's the protein that I've got for today. I've also got some Greek yogurt, which I'm trying out as the fat-free version. I normally get the total 0% one, but I'm trying that one out to see how that goes. I normally mix it with protein anyway, so that should sort out. That should taste alright with that. Um, we've got some baby potatoes which are 80p, so they're cheap as chips. Um, Oppo ice cream, not so cheap. That's uh, supposed to be £4.50, but at the minute in, in Asda, they're putting it through at a wrong price, it's three quid. Um, so, not bad for a, for a diet ice cream. Same as like Ben and Jerry's really, but obviously a lot less calories. So if you haven't seen that before, that is Oppo ice cream. It's basically a healthy ice cream. So calories um, in a whole tub is like 350, which is like a third of Ben and Jerry's, if not a fourth. So let me put that in the freezer before that goes dodgy. Also, we've got some sweet potatoes and some frozen sweet corn. So I'm really enjoying sweet corn at the minute, but I'm having it open corn on the cobs and it just makes a fucking mess everywhere. So, got some frozen sweet corn, some easy peel oranges, some coconut oil spray, which I use on everything that I have. Um, my favorite fruit, it's better on a beach, but it'll do. Pineapple, and that's like a giant pineapple for like a pound, so it's cheap. And, oh, this isn't from the shop. My client has made me some cake, so, and the, the, this cake is 115 calories per, so she puts the macros on the tub for me because she knows that I want to track it. So 115 calories in this chocolate cake, 18 grams of protein, three carb, two fat. So I'm going to try and make this recipe so you guys can see what it is. Um, but that insane, so I'm going to have that basically with the Oppo tonight, so like chocolate cake and ice cream, that's going to be unreal, right? And it'll be about 400 calories, if not less. So. Yeah, who said you can't eat nice on a diet? So that's the food that I've bought. We're going to pack this away, then I'm going to tell you a little bit about expenses and how much it costs, and yeah, see you in a bit. So, diet talk. Is eating the way, or in a healthy way, expensive? And the answer is, versus an unhealthy diet, probably not. Like, what you're spending in the supermarket will be more expensive than what you, you'll spend in the supermarket when you eat less healthy. Let's face it, because like buying fresh products is normally a bit more expensive than buying stuff that isn't. So, but by the time you add up all the things that you're paying for, it levels out, because you're buying takeaways, you're buying things on the go all the time, and by the time your food shop like racks up with everything else, and your out, total outgoings with regards to what you eat, and drink, so not, not only eating, but drinking as well. So the alcohol you get, even though on the go, like picking up a Coke every day. But these little things, they level out. So in my opinion, no, it isn't more expensive to eat in this way. When you go for, and when you're eating like a higher protein diet versus a low protein diet, then yeah, it can be more expensive. But like, it's all subjective, right? So yes, you're gonna spend more money initially than what you were before, but it's an expense for me, like it's more expensive to not chase the things that you that you want than it is to spend a little bit extra on your food. Because it's, it's in the day, it's your health. 
Like, it's not like I'm trying to get you to buy into an idea, it's your health that you're paying for. So this is why it's important. So I know lads and, and well, p people who, ex who seem to think, oh, that's expensive. Like, for example, a session with me is expensive, yet they'll go and put a bag up their nose at the weekend that's, for me, is fucking expensive. Like, that's a waste. Whereas investing in something that's gonna bring more value to someone is of value and that's gonna bring, that's gonna bring someone value in their life. Whereas getting smashed at the weekend and spending money on things that aren't gonna bring you value, they might do for that short stint of time that you're fucking doing it, but in reality, is it gonna help you move forward in your life? Absolutely not. So this is where it becomes like, an art. it's a mindset thing. So I've invested in some courses recently and books and, th and things like that. Like other people wouldn't find that investment good or, or wise or like they, they think I don't need to do that so why would, I, why would I waste my money on it? The same with diet, like it's all, it's all a mindset thing so if you don't see value in buying a healthier diet or, eat, or eating different foods then, then you aren't gonna go and do that and you are gonna criticize people who do. So until you see the fruits of the labor of eating a healthier diet and what that does to your body, you won't see value in it. So the people who tend to think, oh, I'm not gonna eat that way because it's more expensive, they tend to be the people that aren't getting the results that they wanna get with their body, but they are the same people who complain about the way they look all the time. So they'll look in the mirror and they'll be, they'll be, they'll be upset about it. Yet they're all the time buying shit food, buying takeaways, wasting money on things that aren't helping their case. The problem is they just don't have the desire and they don't have the, the willpower and they don't have the discipline to be, just to keep going, even when the scales don't say, oh, you've lost weight this week. So, and, and it's like that self-belief that, that it can get you the way you want it to get you. So, expend, spending more money on your diet is going to bring you a lot of value to, with regards to the way you look, but only if you're consistent with what you're doing. But this is like a bit of a rant, but at the same time, I just want people, it frustrates me because I, I, I see what, I can see what everyone can achieve and I see how much they're not achieving and it just frustrates me because I know what they can possibly do if they're able to be consistent on the goal they've got set. So that they know the goal they've got is like to be a certain, to look a certain way or to achieve certain things, yet their daily tasks and what they do day to day doesn't correlate with that. And it's not until your day to day tasks align with the goal you've got set, that it isn't until that happens that you start seeing the results that you want to see. So that, that has to be the thing that you change. So if you, if you know you want to lose weight or you want to get more muscle, or you want to look a certain way, yet your day-to-day -day life isn't dictating a lifestyle that will get you that end result, then fucking change something. And if that means your mindset towards how expensive food is, then fucking change that. And if it means going to the gym, fucking change that. Like, these are the things that you can control. And this is what, it's turning into a big rant, but I, I just see what people can achieve, and I see what people don't achieve, and it just frustrates me. And I've had, periods in my life where I wasn't growing and I wasn't, not, not, not as like, you know, I mean by muscles, but as a person, and then times in my life where, where I was my least happiest. So I don't want that on other people, and I know that growth is so important with regards to making someone happy, and like a, cr a crucial part of general happiness. So if you aren't growing in some shape or form, whether it be in your relationships, or whether it be in your jobs, or your careers, or your physique, or the way you look, or Whatever it is, if there's not growth in an area of your life, then you're gonna, it's going to lead to unhappiness. So make sure that you see an investment in your diet as a good investment. It's, a, it's an asset that you're spending on because it's bringing value to your life directly because it's going to make you look, feel, and think better. So like I know full well, this year I've been eating more fruit and veggies than ever before, and I've been eating a, my diet this year has been the best I've ever been, and I am mentally performing a million times better than I ever have before. It helps, I'm also putting my head in books every single day and I'm trying to do things that are also stimulating with regards to performance, like surrounding myself with the right people and doing things of that nature. But the one thing you can control and that you are already controlling is your diet. You're just controlling it in a piss poor way. So control it in a way that's gonna bring value to you and your life and to the way you look and then all of a sudden you will get the rewards that come with eating a healthier life, eating a healthier diet. But it won't happen until you see that the expense of a healthier diet as an expense that you're willing to make. And um, maybe this, this, look at all your expenses for the, for the month. What things can you possibly rein in on 
that can save you money so you can eat a little bit healthier and eat a little bit more protein in your diet. You know, because that, that's why it is more expensive, but you can probably go on a healthier diet and save money by not wasting your money on shit that you spend money on all the time. Let's face it, everyone's got money, everyone can go and do it, they just choose not to and they spend their money on the wrong things. So, but it's turned into like a financial advising session, which is definitely not the one to take from me. But if you are to take any advice, it would be to just to eat and not see it as an expense, see it as an opportunity to create a better healthy body and mind for you to, to push on with and to, to grow to grow with. So yeah, hope that helps. I'm gonna end the video with, actually I'm not gonna end the video with a rant because it's gonna get a little bit longer otherwise. So I'm just gonna post this up as a video. Hopefully that brings some value. Um, and yeah, sorry there's not been a video recently. I've not had a video up on YouTube for about a week. Um, bad from me. Basically, I've been putting a podcast together and trying to make it happen and getting it scheduled in, and it's taken longer than I thought. Um, but that should be up soon as well. So the minute that goes live, I will let you guys know so you can watch that. I'll, I'll also post it on YouTube as well, so you can you can actually watch the podcast rather than just um, listening. But whatever's easier for you, go with that. But yeah, bringing lots of value, lots of content to you. So any questions you've got, as always, comment below. Comment below with how much your food shop costs just to give people an idea generally on what the average is on how much it costs like for me i'm not really sure how much i spend on food i should look into it so what i will do for you guys i will i will actually count how much i spend in a month so december won't be a good month because i'm, I'm spending half in australia and it's christmas so that won't be a good month for food but when i'm back like maybe from the month of february i'll calculate exactly how much i spend on food from a to, like to that would be interesting for me to see as well and then you get to see exactly what I spend um, and that includes eating out and etc and things like that as well so but yeah, if you know what your spending is or what, you're, what you allocate to spend on food then comment it below and then we, what I might even try and do is create like a series where I'm like right I've got £20 a week and I've got to eat my diet this, this is how I'm going to do it just so people who have got this limit in, who, who haven't got all the disposable income to spend on food so I'll, I'll make it like a okay I'm going to go and prove to you that you can do it with a really small budget because um, there is no excuse. There's always a way. You've just got to be creative in your diet and think, I can make this happen. But until you believe that you can, you won't make the effort to go and do it. So be positive, believe in yourself, because that is the most important thing. And you can make this next 12 months the best 12 months you've ever had. Um, and I want 2018 to be big for you. But so let's use this time between now and the end of the year to make sure we get you ahead with regards to your diet and everything that you're doing. So that 2018, you can follow my videos and we can inspire and motivate you to be the best version of yourself ever. So yeah, hopefully it was helpful and I will see you guys very soon with some more content. Have a great week.